U.S. November payrolls beat expectations, increasing 203,000, which was the biggest since March 2012. We also saw the jobless rate at the lowest since the crash, as it fell to 7%. U.S. October consumer spending rose 3%. I'm joined by Sebastian Galli from Société Générale in New York. So Sebastian, this stronger economic growth and employment data should boost corporate earnings and stocks over time, but speculators are concerned that quick Fed tapering could actually sap the stock market's recent momentum. But what do you think? Well, I think that if you look at the broad equity markets, if uh, come under a little bit of pressure in the past few days on the expectations precisely that the uh, U.S. data is getting stronger and that it would be to get some Fed tapering. Uh, nonetheless, if you, if you look in, uh, beyond uh, the noise of a few days or a few weeks and uh, how you value equities, but on one side you really have the earnings and on the discounting side you have basically yields. So the, when yields rise, of course, it has a negative impact on the expected cash flows or expected net cash flows in present value and therefore that's seen as a negative. But if it means that, for example, the participation rate right now fell or increased from 62.8% to 63% at the same time as the unemployment rate uh, fell, that's actually pretty good news. So it means there's more people potentially able to, to purchase more goods in the future and all the indicative basically of the normalization of the uh, business cycle in the U.S. So overall, it's, it's, uh, it's pretty uh, good news and, and typically will support uh, risky assets. Um, that can be seen from you know, equity markets, which right now actually are rallying, uh, to you know, other assets such as the dollar, which has been rallying in, in line with uh, uh, higher yields in the, in the back end of the U.S. Treasury curve. And Sebastian, how do you see the U.S. dollar trading as a result? I think what we're going to see is really one main trade, which is basically uh, one a recovery in the risky assets. Uh, that that helps uh, a lot of things along. It makes it a bit more difficult for the dollar to rally, but overall the dollar still wants to rally, particularly against the Aussie and other uh, such assets, particularly against the yen. So I think the dollar yen trend uh, is definitely going to continue. Uh, if we uh, look, you know, beyond the next uh, few days, what you, you have essentially is a market looking for trends, and the main trend is the dollar, second trend is the yen, the tertiary trends are in the in the uh, CAD and Aussie, and I think these will simply continue going forward. It's just that dollar yen is an easier trend at the time of an, uh, probably what is an equity rally um, than our trends, which are bearish uh, Aussie and CAD. Sebastian, as always, a pleasure speaking to you, and I hope you have a very happy winter holiday. Now, viewers, do stay tuned as we have plenty more coming up. See you soon.